Cisco email security, gray mail detection. So gray mail messages are messages that don't fit the definition of spam, right? They could be newsletters, mailing lists, subscription, social media notifications, etc. cetera. Um, so what we might wanna do is we might wanna mark these messages to make the re re receiver, the recipient aware of these messages and, and maybe what they contain. So they can make a decision whether or not they wanna read it or um, you know, delete it, right, uh, very easily. So it's a very simple configuration again, right? So mail policies, gray mail, right? We're gonna come in and we'll enable it. You can also do gray mail unsubscribing for this uh, policy or enable uh, gray mail unsubscribing for this policy. So safe unsubscribe allows us the ability to make sure the links that you're actually clicking on, somebody hasn't modified that to bring you to something bad, right? Um, and that's a trick the adversary is starting to do is, you know, here, unsubscribe to this, right? So you can see marketing email, social bulk email. And again, you can see that we are adding or prepending marketing to the marketing messages. We're prepending social network to uh, social network email. And then bulk email is gonna get that uh, bulk prepend uh, on the subject line. And again, this is just to make the uh, user aware of uh, the content of that message. And again, they can build rules within their uh, Outlook or uh, email client that says, you know what, I wanna put these in certain folders, right? So you can see pretty easy capability to turn on. Again, it's just another layer to help, uh, you know, with overall security effectiveness. Now, gray mail not is not necessarily uh, bad, but some of the things that come with it, like uh, uh, safe unsubscribe or unsubscribing those messages, uh, that's where the malicious intent might come in. Uh, and not to mention that it obviously you get a lot of these messages and they uh, maybe impact productivity. So like all the other changes, right? We commit that change, right? Once we make it, we give it a quick message here and that's it, right? Again, very quick. We're in two minutes. We already have this enabled for the default policy. Again, you may have other policies above this that are a little more granular, but in many cases, uh, there's a lot of... Uh, most people take or inherit that default policy, right? Unless there's some glaring reason why you need to make that change. So um, like all other videos, we're gonna go into the email security appliance, whether it's cloud or on-prem, we're gonna log in, we're gonna tail the mail message or the mail log, sorry. Uh, and we're gonna obviously review that uh, as well as review, review what we see in the GUI. Uh, to make sure that we actually get the results that we expect. All right, so that's good, that's up and running. Now here is uh, a bat file that's gonna go out and generate uh, some of those messages for us. And you can already see uh, a lot of noise here. So you can see gray mail, bulk mail, it was positive right? And again, the other threat protection capabilities are still there, still exist, right? But this is just one um, capability that allows us to, you know, advise the user what might be taking place. And you can see here, this one's interesting because outbreak rules uh, actually quarantined it as a fish. So let's have a look here. We'll go to Outbreak. You can see there's a message there. And again, these are your for policy, virus, and outbreak quarantines, right? So, so if you need to uh, review or release a message, um, you certainly you come in here uh, and you can do that. So let's click on the Outbreak message that we got. You can see it says suspicious and it was uh, also marked as gray mail. So we're going to release this, right? So you can see it was the reason why it was quarantine was fish, but we're going to release this. You may not do this in production, right? But I'm, I'm trying to show you end to end or as much of it as I can. And now it's released 
and now we can go to the inbox and have a peek. We'll send and receive. Now we see a suspicious message and bulk email. So you can see we've prepended two uh, things here, right? We've not only said that it was suspicious, but it was also bulk. So Netflix is nominated, watch these picks to see why, right? So we know the adversary is trying to trick users into clicking on a link. Uh, you can see the bunch of rewritten uh, links here that with the secure-web-cisco.com. Again, this gives us the ability that if the user does click that link, um, they're gonna go to our proxy in the cloud and we have another uh, uh, chance to, to mitigate that risk. So that's it, right? Very easy configurable uh, setting to, to enable. You can see the breakdown here, marketing message, social, and bulk. Within two minutes, you've got it enabled. You're adding another layer of protection. If you got that safe unsubscribe, that's really cool too.